Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a puppy in a box. I'm going to start on the left hand side and put two fingers and draw a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, then I'm going to go straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, stop. From the stopping point I'm going to draw a straight line down, I'm going to come back to that point, draw a straight line out, come back to the left, draw a straight line down on the left, a straight line down on the right. At the bottom, straight line connect to the center, straight line connect on the right. I come back in right above my two little curved lines and I'm going to draw the letter C. And right at the top, I'm going to go wavy, wavy line down, wavy, wavy line up, over, connect. Right about here, I'm going to go big curve line up, curve line down, connect. And right at the top, I'm going to go wavy, 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 wavy line, connect. I come down to the right, and I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line, connect. I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. I come back over here on the left and I just draw a curve line down, connect. I come right about here and I draw a little curve line, color that in black. I come right here and I draw a little curve line for my smile and I go one dot, two dots. Now that I've drawn my puppy, I can finish the box. I draw a straight diagonal, connect, and I start on this corner, straight diagonal, jump over, straight diagonal, connect. Now we're ready to color. Okay, when you're ready to color, I use brown crayon for my ear. This is all puppy here. Here's his tail. Color his face. If you want to, you can add some straight lines. One, two, three. One, two, three for his paws. You don't have to add the Santa hat, but for the holidays I did. So this is going to be red. And the most important part is to make sure you color in the sections around the puppy so it looks like he's sitting in his box. The last thing I'm going to add, just for decoration, are some straight green lines. Now, you can decorate this any way you want. This is for a holiday puppy, but he doesn't have to be for the holidays. Take off the hat, change the colors, and you just have a puppy in a box. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Here's Puppy all colored in, ready to pop out of his box from under the tree. Okay, bye-bye.